Today we are going to transform this tiny glass jar into the world's smallest aquatic ecosystem. No ecosystem truly thrives without a base that bacteria can live in. But with such a minuscule project, it was challenging to find an effective way to add even the smallest grades of substrate. And of course, without water, it could not be classified as aquatic. Luckily, adding water was not as difficult with the help of a pet. With the environment setting complete, a fine sprig of moss is gently rooted into the sand. This will help carry out the duty of purification and will be a suitable surface area for microscopic organisms. A very small piece of floating plant called duckweed is also added. Lastly, the inhabitant of this teeny underwater realm, a newly hatched aquatic snail, huh? almost unseeable to the human eye. This experiment, because of its small size, cannot independently exist without human intervention. Some will say this is then not able to be classified as an ecosystem. However, I disagree. Provided I add water every week, it will be an ecosystem. The plants will grow, the snail will clean all surfaces and create waste and a nutrient for the plants allowing them to grow and continue purifying the water for the inhabitant, a perfect circle of life. Each week, for the next 90 days, I will change the water in the mini jar. At the start, I will need to manually remove the old water in order to add the fresh. But with time, this will not be necessary. The plants will do this for me. With evaporation and plant growth, the water levels will drop automatically. So I will just need to add fresh water. Welcome back everyone. It's now been quite some time since we've started this little project and I'm in disbelief of how it has turned out. It's blown my mind. And right here we have the world's smallest ecosystem. Now when I first set out to do this project, this little experiment here, I never would have thought the results would be like this and the reason why is the amount of water inside of this jar is so micro that you wouldn't think anything could survive in here for any amount of time so I thought it would be one of those projects I'd sort of set up and experiment with and never upload the video because the results would be so bad it wouldn't be worth updating you guys again after you know setting up the project but as you can see it's crazy how much life has you know put forward the stamina to survive inside such a small area such as this little jar here and yeah let's let's have a bit closer a bit more in-depth um, look at the jar so the setup we have here is a very small jar we have a small layer of substrate on the bottom of the jar and we planted a piece of moss in there and we put one sprig of duckweed, if you guys remember at the start of the video. Basically, from the original setup of the substrate, the one piece of moss, and the one piece of duckweed, we now have about, you know, somewhere between 10 and 30 pieces of duckweed. The roots have grown right to the bottom into the substrate, which I've, you never really get to see with duckweed because it's usually a floating plant and the roots are just floating around. They never really get to set root inside of substrate. And what you have here is really cool. The roots have rooted into the substrate. So every time the water evaporates, 
the plants literally stay above the water line so I have to keep topping up the water every few days because the water just drops so fast from the plants using the water inside the jar and believe it or not I'm just looking at it now I'm blown away the snail we put in the really tiny microscopic snail we put in at the start of the project is still alive he's been keeping the surface area of the glass clean from any algae I honestly thought when I set this up that this thing would be full of algae um, you know when I come time to do an update but this, the tiny snail that lives inside this jar has kept this jar clean of any algae and he's still alive in here this is his little home and I think a lot of people think it's cruel to keep a snail of this size inside of this um, little setup but to be honest, I probably have tens of thousands of these types of snails all throughout my aquariums wreaking havoc. And I thought it's basically harmless to you know, see if he would survive in this jar because I would usually be squishing the snails um, just to get rid of them because I have so many millions of them in the fish room that would eat, be eating fish eggs and just replenishing way too much. Um, and breeding up in my tanks that I don't want them. So I took one of the really smallest babies you could possibly find in the fish room and put him in this jar. And he's survived. He's grown up way bigger than when I first put him in here. And he's the only creature apart from sea shrimp that live inside of this tiny jar. I've watched him very closely over this time and he literally just goes around inside of this little glass jar. I think he actually has left the jar several times um, but because it's in such a sterile area where there is no aquatic or aquariums because I've been keeping this in my bedroom um, he always returns to the jar which is really fascinating I've never seen that in my whole life usually I've seen snails commit suicide literally out of tanks and smash on the floor but every time he leaves this little jar he tends to return um, I think he is seeking out a new aquarium and we will be putting him back in the fish tank today um, so he has a full aquarium even though I hate snails but he just seems to cruise around in here and I have seen very tiny types of like seed shrimp possibly crawling around it must have like been transferred over by the duckweed perhaps and yeah but as you can see that's the update for you guys I'm blown away with the results I've never seen anything like that be able to survive in such a small area but I thought it was a cool little experiment. I'm actually um, had a lot of fun doing this, and it's very, very crazy how life can still go on in a small area like this, provided there's water. I've never done anything so small and micro in my whole life, but it was fun doing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.